we're witnessing the sig signature of two important contracts that uh, we are very happy to fund to support uh, mostly the work of the Ministry of Labour, Employment, Veteran and Social Affairs. I'd like to thank in particular Minister Selakovic for his support uh, to this initiative. The project we're launching today uh, have uh, one thing in common. They demonstrate that the EU-Serbia cooperation directly benefits Serbian citizens that need it the most. We're giving a boost to those that are unemployed. The first grant uh, is about uh, the youth guarantee to, in Serbia. And uh, as uh, the uh, moderator mentioned already, this is uh, an initiative uh, which is a commitment uh, by all 27 member states of the European Union to ensure that uh, young people until the age of 29 receive a quality offer of employment, continued education, apprenticeship or traineeship within a period of four months after becoming unemployed and leaving uh, education. What is the added value of the youth guarantee? Uh, first, the name suggested, uh, job or training offer, is guaranteed, meaning that it will provide within a few months uh, a, an alternative to avoid a long period of unemployment uh, that would take young people further away from the labor market. Secondly, the youth guarantee is designed uh, to serve newly registered young unemployed, uh, unemployed but also those that uh, are not yet in the system. There are approximately 100,000 unemployed young people in Serbia who choose not to register with the National Employment Service. Among them are young people who have lost uh, confidence in themselves, uh, others that lack the adequate skills to find employment, and some that simply decide to stay out of the system because they're not, no longer trusted. This is a problem in Serbia, but it's a problem in all EU member states, uh, and this is why we're trying to find a common solution. The youth guarantee involves an ambitious outreach component to bring these people back into the picture, empower them, connect them with local companies, and give them a second chance. In, uh, within the European Union, the youth guarantees uh, scheme was launched uh, back in 2013, so we have some experience, 10 years of experience with the system, and we can say that its impact on youth employment within the European Union has been dramatic. From 2013 to 2020, there were approximately 1.7 million fewer young people across the EU, which we, called, uh, we fall in the so-called category of need, that is neither in employment, nor in education, nor in training. Youth unemployment dropped below 15%, in February 2020, just before the COVID crisis started, and over 24 million young people who registered under the youth guarantee schemes started uh, an offer of employment, continued education, apprenticeship, of trainship. I think this number, 24 million, speaks volume of the impact of this scheme. 